I think if there's one thing that social media has taught us about celebrities, it's that they are a hell of a lot more cringy than we thought they were. They really are just like us. Unfortunately. Lately, I feel like there's been an uptick in cringy celebrity couples, and I thought I'd respond to it in the only way I know how, by definitively ranking them. If you like these types of videos, by the way, definitely consider subscribing, but a quick word from our sponsor, Caseify, and then we'll get into the ranking. If you haven't heard of them before, Caseify offers phone cases that aren't just cute, but actually protect your phone. They're engineered with a two-layer construction of Tech 2.0 technology that's drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet, but at the same time, the phone is still super slim and cute, which I really like because it means that I'm not carrying around a bulky phone for the sake of protection, but my phone's still protected. Some other cool facts about Caseify is that their antimicrobial coating keeps your case germ-free and kills 99% of bacteria. Their impact and ultra impact cases are made with 65% recycled and plant-based materials. And all Caseify cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They're also compatible with 5G and wireless charging, and they have a ton of different designs to choose from. And you can actually choose whichever color or print suits you, and you can even customize it as well if you want to add your name or initials. One thing I really like about them though is their featured artist collections. They just have a really cool range of artists on there right now and you can always find something that's not just cute but also unique. I actually recently just got this dragon one. There's another one that I have where it's like cartoon angels and I'm sure I'll have b-roll up too that's also really cute. So if you want to check out Caseify, maybe grab a case for yourself, you can go to caseify.com slash caseyanzo to get 15% off of your order. Thanks again to Caseify for sponsoring. Now let's get back into the video. If you've been here before, you know how it works. I like to personalize my tiers a bit, but the gist of it is that the higher you rank, the cringier it is. And the bottom tier today is gonna be known as the Girls Feet Charlie XCX, BB Rexa, Rita Ora, and Cardi B tier. And I know some of you guys might be sitting there going, Casey, I have no idea what that is, which is exactly why I chose this song for the tier. A very random yet real moment in pop culture that absolutely nobody remembers. So if any couple falls into that category, they'll be ending up here. Next we have Christian cringe, which is for any kind of couple that makes even the big guy upstairs wince a bit. There's only so much he can forgive. Above that, we have the that couple in high school, which is for any kind of couple that radiates this kind of energy or this, or both, honestly. Just picture the most PDA-heavy couple you had to navigate past in a hallway without wanting to evaporate because it's that uncomfortable, and that's the kind of energy we're going for here. The I have no words for tier is for couples that are so unhinged that I have absolutely no words for. And finally, we have the angel mommy cosplay tier, which is for any couple that seems to be trying to emulate an angel mommy video, which if you don't know her content, here's a bit of a taste test. This is my car. Get out of my car. Get out. Get out! Serves right. I love her so much. Okay, with the tears out of the way, I thought that we could actually start with one of the more popular couples on this list, which is Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Ever since these two became a thing, they have been tormenting everyone's timelines with the most nobody asked for content I've ever witnessed from a celebrity couple in my lifetime. I'm not kidding when I say there's literally not a single thing I know about this couple that hasn't been force fed to me against my will and all of it is insane information. I think my favorite though has to be this infamous quote. I just remember this tall, blonde, ghostly creature and I looked up and I was like, you smell like weed. He looked down at me and he was like, I am weed. Then. I swear to God, he disappeared like a ninja in a smoke bomb. I'm weed. I'm weed. No, I'm weed. No. We're all weed. The idea that I am weed worked on Megan Fox has done more than any Darman video in convincing me anything is possible. I can't overstate this enough. He said, I am weed. More recently though, they just got engaged and they posted this video online, which honestly looks like something Trisha Paytas would post. It wouldn't be a post from them though if there wasn't a long-winded caption. In July of 2020, we sat under this banyan tree. We asked for magic. We were oblivious to the pain we would face together in such a short, frenetic period of time. Unaware of the work and sacrifices the relationship would require from us, but intoxicated off the love and the karma. Somehow a year and a half later, having walked through hell together and having laughed more than I ever imagined possible, he asked me to marry him, and just as in every lifetime before this one, and as in every lifetime that will follow it, I said yes, and then we drank each other's blood. That's definitely a way to end things. I have questions, but I don't think I want answers. And I can't disagree with Twitter here. Machine Gun Kelly does look like a Foot Locker employee. Another personal favorite is definitely the caption that Megan Fox put on their GQ spread. The tale of two outcasts and star-crossed lovers caught in the thrones of a torrid solar flare of a romance featuring feverish obsession, guns, addiction, shamans, lots of blood, general mayhem, therapy, tantric night terrors, binding rituals, chakra sound baths, psychedelic hallucinations, 
organic smoothies, and the kind of sex that would make Lucifer clutch his rosary. Very cool. But why as a public did we need to know this? When it comes to ranking though, I'm actually a bit conflicted between the I have no words and the angel mommy tier, just cause in general, they seem like that couple that was not fucking around about Twilight in 2008. Like I think they think that they're actually vampires, but I think that proposal video definitely tips them over into the angel mommy territory. So I think we're gonna go with that. Next we have Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson. This era was so bad. I get that Ariana was super happy and I'm happy she was happy. Pete Davidson is a great song, but tweeting the dick size of your boyfriend to your fan base with an average age of 15 is definitely a choice that I would consider to live in the realm of cringe. And I know some of you guys might be sitting there like, well, side to side is provocative, which granted it definitely is, but I feel like there's a little bit more guessing involved for the people that aren't immediately in the know. And that mixed with this and this and this was just a lot going on at the moment. They were like a slightly tamer version of what we're seeing between MGK and Megan Fox right now. Minus, obviously, the blood drinking. So I think I'm gonna put them in the that couple in high school tier because it does feel like a high school, non-supernatural version of what we're seeing between those two right now. Halsey and G-Eazy are next, who I'd say definitely laid low for the most part when it comes to general cringe factor, but I think they belong in the girls tier for sure because it seems like nobody really remembers them being a couple except for me, and that's only because the song that they put out together was used for Instagram captions by the most annoying couples for ages, and I will never forgive them for that. If you don't remember it, the song was called Him and I, and it was just a very cliche, we're both crazy and messed up, but we die for each other anthem. The material that this song gave couples that were convinced that everybody was watching their every move was insane. Like, I'm sorry, you're not Bonnie and Clyde. You're Samantha and Kyle. Or should I say Ashley and Gerald? We love to see Halsey thriving though. Nick and Priyanka might seem like a weird couple to include in this, especially when you compare them to the people that we've looked at so far. Like they don't really seem like they could be that cringe, but quality over quantity. And this single photo easily lands them in the eye of no words tier because what the hell is this? If you're a bit confused as to why Priyanka seems a bit off in this photo, it's because she edited herself into it. I still don't understand what possessed her to do this because there is something so strange about opting to Photoshop yourself in an embrace with your husband instead of just using a photo of you and your husband. The caption too just makes this so creepy. I'm always with you. Any other photo and this would have seemed totally normal, but paired with this, what do you mean you're always with me? Where are you right now? Next we have Chris Pratt and that girl he keeps making long Instagram captions about. I don't know why this man is so determined to make sure everybody on planet Earth knows he's so much happier now, but we continue to be subjected to his unprompted declarations of love, which are made even weirder when you remember that he's typing all of this out, his wife is reading this under the same roof as him and then liking it, instead of them just having this conversation in person. It's very strange. Guys, for real, look at how she's looking at me. I mean, Find you somebody that looks you like that, you know? We met in church. She's given me an amazing life. A gorgeous, healthy daughter. She chews so loudly that sometimes I put in my earbuds to drown it out. But that's love. She helps me with everything. In return, periodically, I open a jar of pickles. That's the trade. Her heart is pure, and it belongs to me. My greatest treasure, right next to my Ken... I don't know who that is. Which if you know, you know is saying a lot. It's her birthday in about six weeks. So if I don't get her anything, I'll tell her to look back on this post. Love you, honey. We do not care. Christian cringe though, 100%. There's no room for Jesus in these thing pieces. Next we have Julia Fox and Kanye West. And I'd say that these two and Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly were definitely the couples that inspired this video. I don't think you can get any more over the top than penning an entire published article solely based on a second date with someone. After the play, we chose to do dinner at Carbone, which is one of my favorite restaurants, obviously. At the restaurant, you directed an entire photo shoot for me while people dined. The whole restaurant loved it and cheered us on while it was happening. After dinner, you had a surprise for me. I mean, I'm still in shock. You had an entire hotel suite full of clothes. It was every girl's dream come true. It felt like a real Cinderella moment. I don't know how he did it or how he got all the clothes there in time, but I was so surprised. Like who does things like this on a second date? Well, if you're asking. If you thought it couldn't get any worse though, there are actually some videos that came up from the people that were in the restaurant at the time, and it exposed a little lie in the article. It turns out that the whole restaurant surprisingly did not love that photo shoot and were not cheering them on the whole time. Instead, it seemed like it was incredibly awkward for absolutely everybody involved. 
There's also this photo set that was included in the article that honestly more than anything just leaves me wondering who was taking these photos and how uncomfortable they were that entire night. Like just edit this photo onto a backdrop of high school lockers. Tell me you wouldn't rather die than third wheel that. Ranking wise though, I think I'm actually gonna put this in the angel mommy tier. I was thinking no words, but this photo just kind of gives it a little angel mommy say quoi. The next couple we're gonna look at is Justin and Haley Bieber. Their relationship in terms of cringe is definitely a bit more unique than what we've looked at so far. And that's because most of the cringe moments that have come out of their relationship are what a lot of people would consider breakup fuel. There's this one clip that almost physically hurts to watch where Justin and Haley Bieber are trying to get away from this swarm of fans and paparazzi. And Justin ends up slipping through this fence to go and skateboard away immediately. And Haley's struggling to keep up with him and ends up falling in front of everyone. Go Haley, don't fall, don't fall. Oh my God. Like, I feel this in my bones. Another really popular cringe moment is from Hailey Bieber's Instagram story where it looked like she had like won some sort of arcade game against him and he did not take it well. Baby, I wasn't trying! I beat you, accept it! Some people did try to write this off as I'm just joking around with each other, but that man does not sound like he's joking. He sounds like he's stopping just short of punching a hole in a wall and wetting himself. So I think I actually want to put them in the I have no words tier just because it's one thing to be cringe for a lot of PDA, but when your partner just keeps embarrassing you in public, I don't have words for that. If we're talking about Justin and Haley though, I did want to throw it back a bit and talk about Justin and Selena because we cannot forget that this video exists. I think they definitely belong in the that couple in high school tier because it's just harmless high school-esque activity. In a way, they were actually kind of ahead of their time. Definitely still low level cringe though. The final couple we're gonna look at today though is Sean and Camila. I don't know where to begin with these two. I think what's so unique about them is that I've never seen a pair of celebrities so determined to make sure that the public knows that they're dating. Usually celebrities just want their privacy or they just don't care if people believe in their relationship or not, but these two seem to stop just short of renting out billboards and organizing an address to the nation to make sure everybody knew that they were still together. There's just so much cringy material available on these two. They're like a little factory. If I had to place them somewhere though, it'd probably be between the girls tier and the that couple in high school one, just because I feel like there's a cross between nobody really caring despite them both being pretty big stars on their own, and also the excessive we're dating posts that you'd expect from people that are in their first high school relationship. So maybe they do belong in both actually. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna make an exception. This is our final ranking though. As I always say, this is definitive for me, but it doesn't have to be definitive for you. If you would have changed things around at all, definitely feel free to let me know in the comments below. I think I'm actually gonna do a poll too in the community tab. The last time we did that, it was a lot of fun. So I'll probably just like gather up like the top five cringy people and you guys can vote on which is the cringiest. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you wanna check out some other videos from me, I have a second channel where I post shorter commentary videos. They're originally Twitch streams that I just shortened down to be a lot more concise. We have a lot of fun over there. There's a retrospective on the Olivia Rodrigo driver's license situation on there, as well as a look at the EXO Brooklyn My Crown TikTok drama that you could also check out. Super open to any topic ideas for that channel, by the way, so definitely sound off in the comments if you've got any ideas. If you wanna follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, which are all Casey Yonzo, and you can also check out my other links for stuff like Goodreads or Spotify down in the pinned comment. If you like the video, definitely feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. That's about it for me though. I'll see you guys in the next one.